So, would you rather spend the rest of your life eating fermented foods or bugs? Okay, let's play a game of would you rather. It is 10 days into this post-apocalyptic scenario. You are holed up in your bunker and you are hiding out from radioactive zombie squirrels. That's plausible, right? But you do have a stockpile of either crunchy, ooey gooey insects or fermented foods like sauerkraut. Which do you choose? First, let's talk kraut. Uh, specifically, we are talking about sauerkraut, which is really just fermented cabbage. Humans have been fermenting things for thousands of years. Uh, take for instance, beer, wine, chocolate, all fermented. The huge advantage of fermented foods is that they will not rot. Because if you think about your sauerkraut, all you have are some yeast and some friendly bacteria, a little bit of salt in there. You seal it tight, and what you have just created are anaerobic conditions. In other words, chemical changes are happening without any oxygen. So these chemical changes help to preserve the nutrients that are already present in the cabbage, but they also help to produce new nutrients like B vitamins, and they inhibit the growth of pathogens, nasty stuff like botulism. And you get a bonus shot of lactic acid bacteria in your gut. That's the stuff that is found in pre and probiotics that help the gut to maintain a healthy level of bacteria, which in turn regulates your overall health. Here is a rousing testament to the best benefits of sauerkraut and other fermented foods. In 1772, Captain Cook brought 30,000 pounds of sauerkraut onto his ship. Mm. And his crew members, not a one of them died from scurvy, which is a lack of vitamin C. Now on to bug eating, or as we call it in science, endomophagy. So in many parts of the world, making a meal of bugs is really no big deal. In fact, if you live in the US and you eat processed foods, well, you, my friend, you eat bugs. Let me explain. The Food and Drug Administration allows a certain quantity of little critters to crawl into processed foods. For example, a can of mushrooms can contain up to 19 maggots per 100 grams. And that's not all bad news because it turns out that bugs are incredibly nutritious. In fact, there are about 1,400 species of edible insects in the world, and the majority of them contain about 70% protein. Now that is a lot of bang for your buck. Think about crickets, they are full of calcium, whereas something like caterpillars are full of B1 and B3. But choose well, my friends, you do not want to pop a poisonous bug in your mouth. Think of this little ditty the next time you go foraging for an insect. Red, orange, yellow, forget this fellow. Black, green, brown, wolf it down. Ow. So which would you choose to give you enough energy to do battle with those post-apocalyptic bloodthirsty squirrels? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos. Hey, you might have noticed that Stuff to Blow Your Mind is now on TestTube, a new discovery digital network exploring science, curiosity, and all-around awesome content. Visit testtube.com to explore 25 more awe-inducing shows and follow the channel on social at the links below.